What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel. We're online at www.whatsupinthesky.com. Once again, another day, another curiosity anomaly. This is from uh, Saul748. Um, this, my buddy, I tell you what my buddy tells, he's got the eye of a champion. I get about probably two or three emails from him a day from him. I could probably make a video out of every single one of them. And this one came across, and uh, I think what we're looking at here is some sort of... Uh, wiring maybe or possible or a brace that was on this at some time over here seems to have some uh other things in there i really want to get you guys to uh, comment on this one let me know what you think the whole area is just kind of strange how it it's got the uh well let's take a look at some of these things uh, well first let me show you where we get it from let's see we got it right here. Now all you gotta do is go to the description and, and click the description. Also, we're gonna find stuff that looks like the running water again. Um, it looks like it's dried up. It's been it's seeping up. Um, at some point, they say there's no uh, tectonic plates or anything or any tectonics, but there's smashed up uh, you know rocks all over the place if, with fresh cuts. You know that which you don't understand. They say there's no surface water it's all frozen but we seem to have these these areas that have water seep up that comes up through it and uh seems to make itself you know make its way down so if you go back and search on my website for water on mars you're going to find a bunch of good stuff but nasa ignores water is one of the last ones we had so let me go back to photoshop i pull everything in photoshop so we can play around with it right now i've got the background copy all i've done was sharpen it just a tad your eyes might not even be able to see what i've done there not much to it right there now, I just wanted to hit the auto color on this one just to see what happens. A lot of times it gives us a little better view. I think it shows us more like what it looks like here on Earth. And then, I haven't done this in a while, but I come in like this and I go to exposure. I push the gamma up just a tad. And you will see how much more kind of kind of comes out of it. Let's see. One more there. All right. Now, this piece right here, whatever the hell this is, excuse my language, is interesting, too. And this is, just doesn't look like a normal rock. It's got this strange face-looking thing staring at you. But more off, it's got some blur where there's a perfect spear. Something that comes up, it looks like a gear shifter or something, the head of something. Notice the blur all around it. It's hard to make out. Let's see if we can't use my blur tool here and kind of pull this, or my... Uh, sharpen tool and try and pull this out and see how it looks like it even goes on down to here like it would still be buried and possibly even this part of it over here as well now who knows what had happened when you know a lot of people i've been watching the uh the thunderbolt project and i'm telling you the whole the electrical universe the whole the electrical discharge on mars really does seem plausible to me um and who knows what else there could have been multiple cataclysms multiple issues that happened and uh you know multiple extinctions just like here on earth i think we don't even know half of what's happened on our own planet more or less mars so just as i sharpen this up it's sharpening up a lot of the pixels too and a lot of the uh a lot of the blur hopefully you can see some of this but this is pretty interesting how this comes out of the top but that interested me um not as much as some of this others like i said not as much as this piece right here and uh, what in the world is that? You know, this looks like just, you know, strata that's running across. But then you look under this one over here. Here, let me show you. What, let me get to it. And uh, right in the middle of the circle, if you can see it, there's, uh, you know, look at the shapes under there. It doesn't look just like normal rocks. It looks like there's stuff hanging down. It looks like wiring or some tubing or something. I'm starting to wonder if maybe... Whatever life was there at one time did go underground. You know, I've said that many times. Look at this over here, too. This kind of looks like a, uh, a bust of a, uh, a humanoid figure. But here's our S again, guys. Look at our favorite S. There it is once again. You see it? Let me get this out. And there it is. We find that all over the planet. It also looks like it's got some other lettering right there. But that could just be matrixing. I see what I see. You see what you see. Now, let's go check the other side. So, what do you guys think this is? Comment. Now, wire. Look how this comes up here and folds up this piece like it's some metal or something. I just, you know, it could be nothing. Could just be some random rock that's growing straight up out of the ground. Or maybe I'm, I'm 
seeing things and it's not even there. There's nothing anomalous about that at all. We shouldn't even check it out, you know. <laughs> Probably shouldn't even make a video about it. Uh, more or less, definitely not send the rover over there to check anything like that out. Especially where there looks like there might be some water. Where? Why would we go, you know, shove the probe down in here and see what the, uh, you know, take a little shovel full and see what the content is. No, we're not going to do that. That's that's not the science we're looking for. Look, and when I say, look at this stuff here. This is just too cool. I love how this works. Look at the little pieces that come off the side and they just stick out jagged. And, uh, you know, this is such a blurry, crappy picture, too. I mean, this this is a joke compared to some of the other ones we've seen. Now, here were the other major things that I think these look like animals, busts, one, two, three, and they look just like reptiles. Like reptiles that we'd see on Earth on statues, ancient statues here. And I got an eyeball straight in the middle of my thing. You've got the nose up here. You got the mouth that comes back. Um, and it just is buried in this sand and this looks like lightweight sand here and even down here in the bottom where it looks like it would have evened out there's a uh, you know little things kind of thrown around I mean tell me that that doesn't look like some sort of fish or reptile or something over here you've got another one it looks like I'm just sharpening it up with a sharpening tool whatever I can find here you've got another one see how it's got the little you know there's that little piece right there right next to it it's about the same length you know, the odds, I see the odds of Mother Nature doing that right next to each other. Um, you know, like I said, I see what I see, you see what you see. I haven't done a real speculative one lately, but I thought I saw those over there and they looked like busts to me, you know, some sort of uh, something interesting. Here again, this is kind of just all blurred out, not much you can see here, but just an interesting shape on the horizon there, or whatever you want to call that. But once again, this whole area seems to look, seems to look damp, especially down here where the soil gets darker. Um, you've got some interesting pieces here. This is definitely a good download one. Put it in your, uh, put it in your file. I'll tell you what, if you're following my website, if you're following my videos, and we've got a whole lot of videos, we're talking up to 400 something now. This is, uh, you should have plenty of awesome pictures in your collection by now if you're downloading them. All you have to do is go to description, click link, download it, save it somewhere. Look at this. Just a little piece that looks like it's out of place. There's little spheres on it. They're attached to it. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I don't walk outside and see little spheres that are attached off into my other rocks. Look at another sphere at the top of that one. Just randomly coming out of the sand. Um, unless it's something old and possibly man-made. Once again, it looks like we've got more of these S's. And there's one, two. And this one looks to be backwards a little bit. That just could be... Like, yeah, that's pretty, you can actually see it. It actually looks kind of like chain link how it's doing it, but. Anyways, guys, so I'm really interested in this. My buddy Chels keeps sending them over. This is also a nice little interesting platform right there as well as this. Is it just strata? What do we got here, guys? Let me know. Especially, what is this, cable? You know, a sword? You got to pull out the sword or something? <laughs> All right, guys, much love to you. Plenty more to come. This was just one I wanted to do. I could do it real fast. So much good stuff coming at you here. Um, we're gonna. It's time to break this stuff wide open. I'm like on a on a rampage here. After work every day, I'm getting on this. I'm working on the website. Go check it out. What's up in the sky .com. I'm gonna have a lot more people posted on there. We got some good people that are, are doing a lot of good work out there, and I'm trying to gather them up on the site, give them somewhere to post, give them somewhere to have a home, and uh, you know, you don't have to post everything out there. Just one or two articles. You know what I mean? Put your best out there. If you're interested, you want to talk to me about writing articles, doing images, hit me up, will at willfrar.net. You got a picture to send me, will at willfrar.net, F-A-R-R-A-R. -R -R. What's up in the sky, 37? Peace.